Okay, so we're sitting here with our crow box. Um, still, we don't have the lid or the perch on, but we did finish the perch in the previous step. So um, for now, I'm going to disconnect my leads here to the um, the perch switches, the coin sensor, and um, the uh, servo. And I'm going to remove my uh, my sled from here for now, just to give myself some room. Um, what we're going to do in this step is put the access door on. And the access door is this part here. Um, there's a little bubble, a little bump, and a hole in it. And um, some tabs here at the bottom. This comes from the light, um, lightly colored pieces. And um, I am going to peel mine. Okay, so now that's peeled. And um, I'm going to just sort of put these wires inside to get them out of my way for now, as best I can. Kind of park some of them under the, uh, under the um, sled shelf there. So uh, we also need a um, machine screw and two nuts for this step. Um, this is a 12 millimeter, I think, screw. And um, you can use anything from 12 to 20 millimeters for this, depending on what you have. You want to have two nuts, and before we proceed, um, this is one part of the design I feel like apologizing for. This is a little bit, feels a little experimental here, the way this works, um, but uh, it's what we have for now. So uh, you'll notice that there's a tab here, or a slot rather, cut into this little tab that sticks out of this side of the crow box. And so what you want to do is um, align it so that when you put the access door, this large tab on the access door into that slot, that it lines up with this um, this uh, bolt hole here, which in my case it has. So I'm going to put this bolt through through the hole like that, and then I'm going to work a couple of two of these nuts onto that bolt. Now I'm going to have to go digging for that. Don't drop your nuts; you'll have to go back in and get them. That, that door put back on. The bolt in place. Thread that nut. Another one of those places where uh, access is kind of limited. So thread that nut on to the bolt. Um, get it somewhat tight if you can. You can also always use your little uh, trusty crow box wrench for this, just use the three millimeter side of it and uh, again don't want to over tighten anything using this wrench just because uh, it's, you know, the acrylic is decently strong plastic but you can strip that wrench out really easily so just use it to get, the, get it kind of finger tight or beyond finger tight rather uh, and now I'm adding a second nut to this to this machine screw and I should mention, I should have mentioned earlier rather that uh, you'll want to have your uh, glue gun heated up here. And the reason for that is that um, we're going to, while, this, while, the, while the bolt on the outside here is holding these nuts in place, we're going to bathe them in hot glue. Um, and these nuts, once hot glued to the inside of the crow box, are actually going to be um, the uh, fixture that we thread this bolt into each time we want to uh, put the door on or take it off. So now, I'm going to get my, my glue gun's already heated up here. So I'm just going to go to town here. I'm just going to bathe this assembly in some glue. Get those nuts captured in hot glue. It's okay also if you catch the um, shaft of the uh, machine screw. That's fine too. There. So now I'm just going to hold this crow box on its side for a little bit, a couple minutes, while that hot glue cools off. And uh, I can kind of look in here and see. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but I could do with a little more glue here. So I'm just going to squirt some more in. There. And now we just have to wait for this to cool. Um, the correct way, I feel, after uh, working through a few of these prototypes for us to build this latch would be to have some acrylic parts, which uh, we would cement in place and they would hold the nuts. Um, but for now, um, we're just going to go with hot gluing them in place. Um, another good option, if you have it on hand already, is um, two-part epoxy putty, that um, the uh, the kind that comes in a little log, 
and it's two colors and you pinch off a bit and you knead it together until it's all one color and then apply it. Uh, that would also be a good way um, to hold these nuts in place. Um, but for now, uh, and in this case, uh, we're just going to hot glue them. So again, I'm just going to hold this on its side um, to prevent that uh, hot glue from running down inside the crow box because I use a very high temperature glue gun and uh, the hot glue that I've emitted is, is very liquid. All right, now that hot glue has had a chance to cool and harden, and so I am going to carefully back this screw out of this um, out of the nuts and the glue, and uh, I'm going to set aside my little access door here because now I have an opportunity to turn my crow box upside down, and I can reach inside the access port here with my glue gun. It's difficult to see on camera. Um, but right here is an opportunity for me to apply some more hot glue and catch the uh, back of those bolts also so that they're captive on all sides in a little jacket of um, of hot glue. Hot glue for now, but just plastic once it cools. So it's kind of one of the uh, not great looking parts of the project, but this does work. Every crow box I've built so far, this has been the closure for the um, for the access door. So I'm going to hold this on its side again until that glue that I just added has a chance to cool another maybe three minutes. Okay, so now that can finish cooling right there on its own. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this little bolt here, this machine screw that we're going to use to keep the the access um, door closed. So I could leave this as is if I wanted to um, uh, use a driver to get in and out of the crow box um, each time I need to do some service or whatever, take, take the coins from it. Um, there is an option that I like to use too, and I'm going to demonstrate that here. If you just kind of slowly apply hot glue to this bolt as you turn it, you can fashion a sort of uh, grip or button of uh, hot glue around the uh, the head of this bolt, which will give you a little bit something, a little bit more to hold on to, so that you can actually use uh, your fingers to get in and out of the crow box, and you won't need a um, a uh, a tool to get in and out. But um, so I just kind of turn this slowly as it cools, so that that bead doesn't drip off one side or the other of the of the bolt. And I'm just going to keep doing that for a little bit here while it cools. Okay, now that's cool enough. So we can try this now. So I'll just take my access door and prop this up just a little bit. Get a better view on the camera here. So I'll take my access door and put it in place. Take my little bolt and put it into the hole there. And now that I have that hot glue button all the way around the screw I got something to hold I have something to hold on to there and I can tighten that in nicely there we go now our access door is on firmly and uh, obviously just repeat the process to remove it so I think that uh, moving forward we'll think of a better way to do this but this has been a perfectly functional uh, functional solution throughout the whole project so we're just gonna roll with it for now